City Hunter is a manga by Sakasa Hojo. It was serialized in Weekly Shonen Jump from 1985 to 1991, and it became extremely popular. The manga follows the exploits of Ryu Saiba, a pervy but kind-hearted private eye experienced with guns and fighting, who solves problems for his clients, usually beautiful women. The problems he often encounters include protecting his client, fighting Yakuza, and generally helping people against evil and more powerful individuals. For the majority of the series, he is accompanied by his partner, Kaori Makimura, the younger sister of Ryo's late partner, Hideyuki. She's tough and secretly harbors an implied crush on Ryo, and is also there to punish him for his lewd actions with clients. Other major characters include Sego Nagami, a police detective who often uses Ryo to get criminals, and Umi Boju, a rival sweeper and friend to Ryo and Kaori. City Hunter eventually got an anime directed by Kenji Kodama and produced by Sunrise that ran from 1987 to 1991 in the forms of City Hunter, City Hunter 2, City Hunter 3, and City Hunter 91, as well as several OVA and anime films. The series became extremely popular, especially overseas in France, where it went under the title of Nicky Larson. While it can get repetitive at times, City Hunter is a very entertaining anime, successfully balancing humor, action, and drama that you can really invest in. The voice acting is also great too. Ryu himself is voiced by none other than Akira Kamaya, who also is best known for the voice of Kenshiro from Fist of the North Star. The manga and anime were so popular that the character even made his way into live action. In 1993, Ryu Seiwa made the jump to live action in a film adaptation starring Jackie Chan and directed by Wong Jing, titled City Hunter. While this version arguably leans too far into comedy compared to the series, and definitely feels less City Hunter than a Jackie Chan co action comedy, it's still a very fun movie. While I think some of the character designs and outfits could be better, I feel like the cast is mostly good and the action is pretty great too. Including an unforgettable Street Fighter tribute scene in which Jackie Chan dresses up as Chun-Li and fights against Gary Daniels dressed as Ken Masters. Overall, it's a very fun movie and definitely worth a watch, but I do wish it could have had the more serious drama of the series as well, to balance out with the humor. In 1996, City Hunter got a second live-action adaptation entitled Mr. Mumble, directed by Jun Man Yuan and Michael Chao Man King. Unlike the Jackie Chan film, this film was unofficial, meaning that they used the scenarios of the manga but couldn't use any of the names of the characters. For the sake of ease, I'll refer to the characters by their Japanese counterpart names. In this version, Ryo is a womanizing sniper for the Hong Kong police, who is fired by his bot Seiko. While living above his friend Umiboji's cafe and continuing his womanizing ways, he finds himself hired by a crime boss to protect his daughter from a rival gang. Despite being an unofficial adaptation, Mr. Mumble is for the most part a great adaptation of the anime and manga, perfectly balancing the drama and raunchy humor of the source material on the big screen. Michael Chow is honestly near perfect as Ryo Seba. Not only does he have the looks for the part, but he also has the charisma and physicality for the role too. In fact, a lot of the characters like Seiko and Miboju are well casted, and they look a lot like their manga counterparts. While there are admittedly a few minor annoyances, like how Kaori's character is handled, I do feel this is a solid adaptation and film. Fans of the City Hunter manga and anime, as well as Hong Kong action movies, should really check this out. It's a pretty entertaining watch. Other famous City Hunter related media include spin-offs by Hojo, including Angel Heart, an alternate universe sort of sequel which got its own anime and live action TV series, as well as another spin-off called Kyo Kara City Hunter, which was launched in 2017. In 2011, City Hunter got a Korean live-action television adaptation starring Lee Min-ho in the title role. While this show is good for what it is, it admittedly doesn't have that signature City Hunter humor and feel. It feels a bit more like a K-drama version of Arrow, which, while entertaining, doesn't appeal to me personally as much. Though it does have a large following, so you may want to check it out if you're interested. Currently, two major City Hunter related projects are scheduled for 2019. An anime film with the original actors for Ryo and Kiori, Akira Kamiya and Kazue Ikura respectively, returning, and a French adaptation of the French localized version of Nicky Larson, which will be the subject of the remainder of this video. Nicky Larson and the Perfume of Cupid will be written, directed, and will star Philippe Lechaud as the title character. The film also stars Lode Fontaine as Kaori Makimura's French counterpart, Laura Marconi. Currently, not much is known about the premise of this film, but it is listed as a police comedy. I have seen a lot of hate on social media for this film, but honestly, I am really excited for this venture. The show has shown many times on social media, whether it be his Instagram or Twitter, that he is a fan of the manga and anime, and even posting some of his own personal collection. 
And after seeing all of the set photos such as Les Show and Costume and Kaori's Hammer and behind the scenes of some of the action set pieces, I have a really good feeling about this. I know there is often a stigma against live action anime and manga adaptations, but there have honestly been some genuinely great live action anime and manga adaptations, like the Roni Kenshin trilogy, Edge of Tomorrow, Kitty Honey, and Mr. Mumble. And I really do have faith that this Nikki Larson adaptation can join the ranks of those as a genuine solid film based on an anime or manga. Anyway, enough about me and my takes. What about your thoughts? Are you excited for the upcoming City Hunter slash Nikki Larson projects? Have you ever heard of the City Hunter anime or manga? If not, I really recommend you check it out. It's honestly a really entertaining and really great series. If you enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like and even a comment about your thoughts on this whole venture. If you enjoy my content, please subscribe and follow me on Twitter and Instagram if you have either of those social media outlets.